Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome back to J. Crew. Yes, this is J. Crew and another beautiful day that God has blessed us with. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Boys and girls, we are not going to keep you long. I know that today is Christmas Day and you want to get back to those presents and everything. And so therefore, boys and girls, we're going to go to our Lord in prayer and then go to the message for today. But I do want to encourage you, boys and girls, if you don't have something to write with, and to write on, please get something, get a pencil and a sheet of paper, because I have an assignment for you, an assignment that you can do right now that um, is going to be a blessing to you, and more importantly, it's going to be a blessing to God. Amen? Amen. So get a pencil, a pen, and something to write on. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for just bringing us together once again to study a portion of your word, dear Lord, and I just pray as we um, hear your word, dear Lord, we will allow it to be a seed planted into our hearts that produces roots and bear much fruit. Bless these children, dear Lord. Bless them with the desire and the will to want to obey your commands, dear Lord, so they can see how powerful your word is, dear Lord, and how it brings blessings into their lives. Lord, um, give them the courage Fill them with your Holy Spirit to say yes to what is right and no to what is wrong and leave the consequences to you. Lord, we love you. We adore you. We pray that you will continue to just navigate us through this dark and evil world so that at the end of the day, dear Lord, we will enter before your presence and you say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Bless this time that we have together. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Okay, so boys and girls, we're going to pause for a moment and then go right into the word. Amen? Amen. Okay, boys and girls, now we're getting ready to go into the message for today. Today's title is God's Christmas slash wish list. God's Christmas slash wish list. We are probably all familiar with the wish list, boys and girls. In other words, um, mom or dad, um, ask you to put together this list of the things that you want for Christmas and you put together all of these items and you gave that wish list to your parents, you gave it to your grandparents, to your aunts or anyone who could potentially get you those particular gifts. Gifts. And so boys and girls on Christmas morning, what we do is we wake up and we look under the tree and we start opening up those gifts and see if those gifts are compared to our wish list. And if they are compared to our wish list, boys and girls, and they are on our wish list. Oh, what kind of joy that that brings. It brings excitement. It brings love. We feel love. We feel, feel appreciated. And we feel so grateful for those individuals who took the time to look at our wish list and to provide us with the things that we really desire. But have you ever thought about this, boys and girls, ever occur to you? That those same emotions, that joy, that excitement, that love, that appreciation, and that gratitude, those are some of the emotions that God would love to experience also on Christmas morning. Yes, he would love to, you know, we were created in God's image. So he has those same emotions as well. He has the, emo he has the emotions of joy, and, and, uh, excitement, love, um, appreciation, and gratitude. And he can experience them just like us. Yes, God can experience those just like us. So something to think about. You know, what we do normally is we just talk about the reason. Boys and girls, you all rem remember the reason for the season. It's all about Jesus. Therefore, we all, we thank Jesus when we wake up in the morning. Thank you for being born. And then we go and celebrate and open up our gifts and see what we got on the Christmas tree. But what if even on this day, boys and girls, on Christmas day, that we paused and thoughtfully gave God a gift or two from his Christmas slash wish list? Yes. God has a wish list and you don't even have to buy it. You can make a commitment even right now, boys and girls, to actually bless God with some of the things that are on his wish list. That's why I ask you, boys and girls, to get something to write with and to write on. Because I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some of the items that are on God's wish list. And I want you, boys and girls, to think about 
Think about those things, seriously about those things. And you write down two or three of those um, things that are on God's wish list and you commit to actually putting them into practice. But here's the thing. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes chapter five, verse four and five, this is just a warning that if you do make a promise, boys and girls, don't wait too long to carry it out because God is not up for foolishness. So when you make a promise, you keep your promise. If it is not good to make a promise and not keep it, it is better not to make the promise at all. So if you are going to write something down, you commit to that, boys and girls, and you commit to doing it every day, every day. Yes, these are some of the things that are on God's wish list. These are things that God doesn't just want you to do on Sunday or just want you to do um, when someone's around you. He wants you to do these things all the time. So I want you to think hard and seriously about the commitment in which you are going to make. But when you say that you are going to bless God, and what a wonderful thing that is to bless God with some of the things that are on his wish list. Amen. Amen. So first, boys and girls, we're going to go through and I'm going to give you some scriptures and I'm going to explain them to you. And then at the end, we got a summary of those scriptures. And I want you to pick and choose two or three of those items where you can actually be a blessing to God on Christmas morning. Not just receiving. You know, boys and girls, it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. And this, in this case, you don't even have to have money to be a blessing to God, to bring a smile upon his face. Amen. Amen. I'm excited about this. And I pray that you are too, as we go through this wish list of God's and you choose some of the things that you can do to be a blessing to him on this Christmas morning, committing to putting into practice these, these items every single day of your life. Amen. Amen. The first one comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18. It says, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. This is God's desire, boys and girls, is that we do what? To give thanks in every circumstance. That means we give thanks when good things happen to us and around us, and we give thanks when bad things happen um, to us and around us. For we know those things that are happening, they are going to come out for our good. So give thanks, boys and girls. Give thanks. It's hard in some of the things that happen that may be bad. But give thanks in all circumstances, knowing that God is with you. He will never leave you, nor will he ever forsake you. So give thanks in every circumstance, in the good times and even in the bad times. Amen? Amen. Here's the second one, boys and girls. In Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 16, it says this, and do not forget to do good and to share with others for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. In other words, boys and girls, if you have an opportunity to do good towards your neighbor, do good. Or you have something, you got surplus or you got a lot of something that you can actually share with others, share with others for these sacrifices are pleasing to God. Yes, this is on God's wish list is that we do good and we share with others. Amen. Amen. And here's another one, boys and girls. Obedience. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 15 and 22, God replied to Samuel, I mean, Samuel replied, he said, does God delight in burnt offerings or in sacrifices much as much as in obeying God? To obey is better than sacrifice. To heed is better than the fat of rams. In other words, boys and girls, God loves it when we make sacrifices. But if we have to choose between obeying him and making a sacrifice, God rather you obey obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. Amen. To obey boys and girls, obeying God's commands, being um, respectful, honoring your father and mother, not, not lying. I mean, there's all kinds of different commandments that God has in his word. He rather you do those commandments than to make the sacrifices if you have to choose between the two. But God does love when we make sacrifices. As a matter of fact, here's another one that God wants us to 
um, on his wish list. In Romans 12 and 1, he says, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, for this is true, your true and proper worship. In other words, boys and girls, God wants you to be available. He wants you to be available to be used by him. He wants you to um, deny yourself and all of the things that you desire to do and to do what he desires for you to do. Make him number one. He says, seek this, his kingdom and his righteousness first. And all other things will be added unto you. In other words, make the sacrifice and put God number one. Number one. And he do the rest. That is God's wish list for us, boys and girls, to offer up our bodies as a living sacrifice unto him. That is the way in which we can show our true and proper worship. Sacrifice. Amen. Making God number what? Number one. Here's another one, boys and girls, Colossians 3 and 20. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases God. In everything, boys and girls, obey your parents. Obey your parents. That's on God's wish list. Yes, it is on God's wish list for us to obey our parents. Amen? Amen. Make that a priority, boys and girls. As, and he wants you to do that how often? Every day and everything. Amen? Amen. Here's another one, boys and girls. Psalms 51 and verse 17 says, My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. In other words, boys and girls, when we do something bad, God wants us to feel bad. He wants us, yes, to feel broken about it. When we disobey him, he doesn't want us to feel good about it, feel prideful about it and go hide it. No, he wants our spirits to be broken. He wants us to feel hurt. He wants to be, feel sorry for the sin in which we have committed. Yes, he wants us to feel hurt that we actually disobeyed him and went against his will. So that is on his wish list. Amen? Amen. And he will not turn it away. Oh, he will not turn such a gift away. When we actually go before him, his presence and say, Lord, I am sorry. I'm hurt for what I've done. Mm. He will not despise it, but he will love it. What's a what a precious gift. Here's another gift, boys and girls. In Psalms 69, verse 30 and 31, it says, I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than ox and more than bull with the horns and hooves. In other words, boys and girls, God loves praise. He said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath the what? Praise the Lord. So boys and girls, put a song on your heart and give it unto the Lord. Give him a gift of song. Praise him with songs. Not only praise him with songs, boys and girls, praise him with the fruit of our lips. Share him with someone else the goodness of God. Amen? Amen. And here's another one, boys and girls, that's on God's wish list, Proverbs 12 and 22. It says, the Lord detests lying lips but he delights in people who are per trustworthy. In other words, what God wants us, wants us the boys and girls to do is tell the truth. He, want, he loves trustworthy people, but he detests. That means that it makes him sick when he sees people lying because that means that you are making the devil your father because the devil is the father of all lies. And if you're going out and you're lying, then you're saying, devil, you are going to be my father today. And God detested, but he delights in those who tell the truth. Tell the truth and shame the devil and tell the truth all the time. That's on God's wish list. Here's another one that's on God's wish list. Ezekiel 18 and verse 23, it says, God says, do I take any pleasure in the death of the wicked, declares the sovereign Lord? Rather, am I not pleased when they turn from their ways and live. 
In other words, boys and girls, another thing that God desires um, from on his wish list is that we turn, that we repent. Not only are we sorry for the things that we've done, but we turn away from those things. Yes, that is on God's wish list as well. So here's a summary of them, boys and girls. And so I want you to take some time. Take some time and I want you to write them down. So if you have to, go ahead and pause. Pause the, the, um, the video. Pause for a moment and write down three, two or three of these that are on God's list. And I want you to go to the scripture and read them. And I want you to write them down. And then I want you to put them under your tree. If you have a Christmas tree, put them under your tree. Or I want you to put them somewhere where you can remember them. This is my commitment to God that I'm going to strive to do every day. I'm going to strive to give thanks every day. I'm going to strive to do good every day. I'm going to strive to obey God's commandments every day. I'm going to strive to be a living sacrifice, sacrifice making God number one. I'm going to strive to obey my parents every day. I'm going to strive to be sorry and not prideful for the bad things that I've done. I'm going to strive to praise God every day. I'm going to strive to tell the truth every day. I'm going to strive to turn away from evil and turn to, turn to do right every day. Those are on God's wish list. And I want you to pick them, boys and girls. What a blessing you can be to God even now because none of them will cost you any material things. You don't have to have money to give thanks, to do good, to, to, to obey, to sacrifice, to obey your parents, to feel sorry for your sins, to praise God, to tell the truth, and to repent. No money or material things are necessary for you to do good and to do the other blessings that God desires for you to do. But there's his wish list. So pause for a moment, if you have to, and then go forward, okay? But remember this as well, boys and girls, that whatever you promise, don't take too long to do it because God does not deal, like dealing with foolishness. So whatever you promise, do it or don't make a promise at all. Amen? Amen. So boys and girls, and we're going to close because God is still a God of giving. Even if you don't put that on under, under those things that on the wish list, if you don't choose any of them, God is still going to love you. God is still is a giving God. There may be some per, uh, individuals out there who has never taken advantage of God's gift. God's gift is so precious that he gives it over and over again. And he will never stop giving because God's desire is for each of us to receive eternal life. It's the gift to each of us. And if you have never received a gift, you can receive the gift today. God's desire is for you to receive the gift of eternal life. Even if you don't want to give the gifts from on his wish list right now, receive his gift. That, boys and girls, is the most precious gift that you can give him. Is when you receive his gift, what you are doing really is you are giving him your soul. And that is what God desires to spend eternity with him in the kingdom of heaven. For you who have already professed your faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, I pray that you will choose three or four of those things that are on God's wish list and strive daily to accomplish them. If you are not a child of God and have not professed your faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and God, here's an opportunity to receive the gift of eternal life. And that is the most precious gift that you can give to God. Yes, you will receive eternal life, but God, oh, he loves the world and he wants each of us to spend eternity in the kingdom of heaven. That is on the top of God's wish list. Amen? Amen. So repeat this prayer after me, boys and girls, if you desire to give God your soul to spend eternity with him in the kingdom of heaven. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, dear God, I am a sinner. I have done bad things in my life. And I understand 
that you hate sin, but you love me. I believe that you love me and you sent Jesus to die on the cross for all my sins. I believe that Jesus was buried and he rose again. Please forgive me of my sins. Now I ask Jesus to come into my heart and to be the Lord of my life, to be my master, to be my ruler, to be my king. I give my heart to Jesus Christ. I thank you, God, for saving my soul by cleansing my soul with the blood of Jesus. And I thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for all my sins. I receive the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So boys and girls, if you said that prayer with all your heart, you are now a part of God's family. You have given God the most precious gift that you could give him, and that is your soul. You belong to him now. And also you receive the most precious gift that you could ever receive. There's no gift under the tree that can last as long as eternal life. And that is yours forever. You are forever a part of God's family. So boys and girls, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And I want to wish you all a Happy New Year. God bless you all. And may you continue to just live that life that God desires for you to live looking at the wish list, choosing a few of the items, and striving to achieve those every single day of your life. Amen? Amen. God bless you, and may God keep you.